Okay, uh, welcome back to this whole episode thing. Uh, this episode's ability, what is it? I don't actually know. Something new with the glaive? Ah, yes! Something new with the glaive! Yes, that's actually perfect. Glaive attack allows us to do four glaive attacks instead of just one. Which is awesome. Must be do more damage. That's why. So yeah. One, two. Can you do the other attack? Why? There we go. Look at that. Okay, not bad. We're not keeping it up. We're actually leaving. But. But. That's the gist of it. Um, that's really good for reasons. Yeah. Yes. So I guess I'll see you guys next time. Next, I'll see, you'll see past me. Next episode, because you'll see past me next episode when I do the dojo thing. But you'll see future me in a few seconds. All right, whatever. Future me. Uh, you got this. Hello, welcome back to Okami episode 37. In the last episode, we had, well, gone to Yoshpet, went through, well, went through it for the most part. And here we are in Pankton, that was in the middle of Yoshpet. In this episode, let's talk. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know what we're going to do. Hopefully, find Lika. Hold it right there. Are you some kind of wolf? You can't be an ordinary wolf if you got into Procton like this. Wait a minute, then you introduce yourself. That's weird, we normally understand animals. I have no idea what's going on inside this wolf's head. But this strange makeup and divine instrument looks so. I have a feeling I've seen this somewhere before, too. Haha, <laughs> hold it right there. I, re I remember I recognize you from. You look just like the wolf of the scroll in old Ashaku's house. Does that mean you're a friend of Chief Ashaku? I thought so. Then I suppose we better let you in. This is the home of Ashaku, Chief of Ponicles. He's resting inside at the moment. Please go in. Go on in. He's old and become quite weak. His eyes are particularly bad, so keep that in mind. Make sure you don't give him any trouble. Let's go. Let's head to the. Let's head to him. Huh? Hmm. I recognize that smell. Who's there? No, it can't be. But I know that park from anywhere. You must be Emmy. Emmy, it's you. When you departed this world after that brutal battle, I never imagined I'd see you again. My eyes have started to fail me in my old age, but but I could sense it. I could sense the tears are all trying to hide too. Yes, go ahead and ignore me. That's the Emmy I know. I do, I do know how you managed to make yourself so small. But the, that rudeness of... But that rudeness of your leaves me in doubt of who you are. Hello. I am no longer the young boy you remember me as, Emmy. I have been grown to become the leader of Pankton. Yes, I am the legendary swordsman, Ashaku. Legendary sh swordsman, Ashaku, self-proclaimed. I've gone up in this world since we last met, wouldn't you say? I mean, I guess. 
You can't give me that. You could give me that look, but I know you're impressed. But really, I'm sensing something about you that worries me. Your divine power has weakened considerably. I assume you haven't retrieved all 13 of them yet, have you? Things have certainly changed since we've lost fought together. People no longer have faith in the gods like they used to. So I suppose, I suppose, it's only to be expected that you're weaker now. It's sad to see you without your old strength. But let me tell you straight, Amy. Not no curviness, all right? We're talking straight. In your current state, you can't possibly fight off the powers of darkness. So tell me, don't you have like a companion traveling with you at this time? Is that a no? You mean, you came all this way alone? I wasn't expecting to see you with anyone in particular, mind you. Oh well, never mind, it's no big deal. Amy, I'm sure you already know this, but in your current state, you're do you can't, you already said this, you can't defeat the ruler of darkness. We particles always knew that darkness would come one day. That's why we've been training to be celestial envoys. I see. You seem to have forgotten absolutely everything! Celestial envoys are messengers of the gods. The gods cannot live on, on unless people believe in them. We Ponicles are the only ones who can communicate with gods, and we train as artists to teach the world their divine power. Then only the best, very best of us are chosen to give an honor. Ah, uh, the honor of being named a celestial envoy. I was the sixth celestial envoy when I traveled with you, but I am old now, and I'm not as strong as I used to be. So I decided to take everything I've learned and teach it to my people. I've been very strict, but it's paid off. And uh, now almost all of them have what it takes to be a celestial envoy. So Amy, take a look, or take a look around the village, talk to them. It's up to you who decides. It will be up to you who decide will be the seventh celestial envoy. Whoever you choose will accompany you on your journey. Their amazing paintings will show you the world your divine power. If people believe in you, your powers will return soon. Then only the darkness that will you be able to defeat the darkness. Jeez, Gramps, what the heck? Would you like me to tell you celestial envoys again? No. Nope. So, Amy, take a look around. Talk to the people. So, you know, do that thing. Alright, shut your mouth. I only I only did that voice because of him. Um, he got all serious. He was like, you must choose. I choose you. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Wolf. Did you finish talking with the Shaku? Well, I hope it went well. He always enjoys having visitors, so come back and see him soon. Alright. Good talk. So I forgot to do this last episode. Let's put this on. And that there. So we're going to do a lot more damage now, which is awesome. Ten side. Uh, you're a bit small for a wolf, aren't you? Ah, it looks like you're wearing some kind of strange makeup. You're the vis you're the first visitor in this village who is an aponical. My name's Mia. Pleased to meet you. Da, 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 da. Ponical girl, Mia. Wait, sorry. Ponical girl, Mia. You know, there was a lost child in the forest the other day. She wandered even deeper in the forest and disappeared through the spear cave, looking almost... Possessed. The spear gate is a relic that lies deeper inside the forest. It, it's a strange gate that takes you to another place in another time. But people say that opening the gate invites misfortune. We particles always make sure we steer well clear of it. But when I saw the girl wandering deeper into the forest, I decided to follow her because I was worried about her. I saw the gate open the moment she stood before it. And then it was like, she been swallowed up. Do you think I should tell the elder about this wolfie? No, I'm good. No, no, I, uh. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. 
dun 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 I love the music in this place, it's good music. So actually, we're done with this place for now. I mean, we're not done. We gotta come back for stray beats and stuff, but like, for the most part, we're done. If that makes sense. Hmm. That was quick. Any sign of Lika? Go pick in and ask around, but leave me out of it. Will you stop going back and forth already? Either stay in, stay in there till you're done, or let us get out of here. Then let us get out of here already. We can go. Stop right there, Emmy. I'm not gonna be your guide here, for, and that's final. Stop right there, Emmy. Okay, I thought he was gonna say something different. Okay, looks like we still have to go ask around. I, I just thought, you know. All right, so we're gonna do what the Ponicle said with Mia, or sorry, Mia said, and we're gonna talk to Chieftain, Mr. Chiefy Boy, Mr. Keith, and we're gonna talk to him so that we can do what we want. Yeah, no, it's not over here. It's over here. Dun, 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 dun. Come on. What? <clears throat> what is this? Hmm, ignoring me again, are you? It doesn't matter. I can tell you what you're thinking anyway. You're thinking about the spirit gate, aren't you? Only a fool would be interested in something like that. That loathsome gate invites misfortune, I tell you. Ah, if you open it, you'll be engulfed in a vile, sinister air. There's no reason in the world, though, you'd ever need to open it. Anyway, it can't be opened without my trusty sword, Denji Maru. Never mind that. How's your search for a celestial envoy going? It must be hard to choose with all the talent there. What? Is there something you want to tell me? Just for a record, I don't have a grand set anymore. That no good rascal gave up on his training and ran away with one of my treasured paintings. He's no longer grandson of mine. I wash my hands of him. Uh, no, no, no. You're saying the same thing. So we, his grandson. Who can this grandson be? And I remember Waka earlier in the series talking about talking to a student about stealing a painting from his grandfather hmm interesting are we done let me be done. You done yet? God. What? It looks like you want to say something. The spirit gate? Are you telling me Liko went to the spirit? <laughs> You're as easy to read as a book. Well, I ain't going in there either, so it's, n it's nothing but trouble. If you have to go, ask that old man of Shocker to be your guide. Is that, is that really you? Who's there? It's soon, it's me. Mia! Hmm. Oh, Mia. So you finally come home. I bet you... I bet you become a real celestial envoy. Just like Grandpa Shaku and everybody knew you would be. But why'd you... Why wouldn't you come into the village? Oh, I get it. You don't want to see him, right? Put a cork in it. What? And what's with this whole celestial business? Give me a break. What good would it do to become something like that? I'd rather live happy and carefree. I can't believe you say that. So you, that doesn't mean you don't want to paint anymore. 
We particles are supposed to help people believe in the gods. Otherwise, the gods will remain forever powerless. Remember? I said put a cork in it. If you, if you like painting so much, go for it. But you can count me out. Go hawk your silly ideas and harebrained plans somewhere else. It's soon. Go away, we're busy. We have urgent business beyond the spirit game. What? Listen, I don't have time to help you, all right? <laughs> you boring old panda, you're gonna have to wait. Let's get out of here, Amy. As soon, wait. No need, what the she was to tell me, Genki Desu. Yay, allows us to do the thing now. All right. In your spit. Wait, where are we on this map? Okay, I mean, the spirit gate is further on this way. Even we ponicles hardly go that far into the forest. Nobody knows when it was made or even who made it. They say that opening the gate only invites disaster, but I doubt we'll find any curiosity seekers around there. After all, no one but the chief on the Ponicle Clan can open it. Plus, the road to the forest dabs is like a maze. It's even more confusing than the park Kai guided us to run. But, if you really bend them going through here, I'll be your guide. What, a, what is going to be, enemy? Amy. Okay, let's run full speed to those spirit gate. Now, stick close to me, furball. I don't want you getting lost. So, uh, yes, this is the final time we'll have to do this, by the way. And um, while we're running, I'll put the. Ooh, could tassel. Um, actually, Ooh. while we're running, I'll put in the. Um, I'll put the dojo in between loading screens so that. So that you can watch that, because I forgot to I forgot to uh, introduce that earlier. It's fine though. Stop! This is harassment. Honestly, this, he said it was more confusing, but if I'm being 100% honest, it's not, like, at all. It's actually quite simple. I'm pretty sure there's only three parts, just like the first one. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure. Oh god. So so we got the weapon earlier. We got the uh, eighth wonder. And it, I'm able to take these guys down so much quicker now, which is awesome. Amazing. So we want you to go left, but we're gonna go right again, you know, as you do. To get the chest. Alright. The first one that is isn't as use isn't as uh, useful as I think the second one. Pretty sure the second one has a. Uh, pretty sure the second one has a straight bead. Well, if you go down the wrong path on purpose. What kind of what kind of plants move in a circular motion like that? I think in general that's just a good good question to ask. Come on. Come on. Come 
Come on. It's on me, baby. You might be wondering why we're not purifying them. It's just not. It's not useful, like, whatsoever. So I don't purify them. The only reason it would be uh, useful if I need, like, one or two uh, praise. I bet I don't need the praise. Alright, let's head left. I think this is a stray bead. Yes. Oh, by the way, there are, there is inner Yosvet and then there's normal Yosvet. This is inner Yosvet. The second set of races is inner, while the, the first is normal. So if you go to the stray bead list, you're gonna see normal and then you know normal and uh, what, what, am, what word am I looking for? The normal one and then the inner one. So the inner one's this one with its own set of stray beads. If you were wondering. Don't worry, though. They both only have three in them, so... Really not all that bad. Uh, here, you have to do that. I, you know, there, if there was a faster way, I would take it, but... Yeah. It's whatever, honestly, though. Infinity Stone. Hmm. I don't... I really don't use them in this story all that much. I use them more in the, um... In the side stuff, because the side stuff is difficult. Surprisingly. Like, in this game, the side stuff's, like, really difficult. In other games, it's not so much. Ooh, new enemy. We actually haven't seen him. It's the bucket guy. So, the bucket guy. He is literally the same. That's it. However, the thing different with him compared to all the other diggers. Well, uh, the yellow. I'm sorry. I couldn't think of the name. Yellow. Ing uh, yellow. Imps. Is that and while he goes to the ground, he doesn't just you just stay in the ground. He actually raises his arms up so that he can hit you. And trust me, you can get hit by it. And yes, it does do damage. So just watch out while he's moving around. Um, he's still gonna be the last one you kill for the most part. But it's whatever. This is it. That big old hunk of wall right there is the spirit gate. Well, it's definitely gate like. The spirit gate. Man, nobody knows when it was built or even who built it. All we know is that it's been here since the age of myths. And that's a whole lot of older. That's a whole lot older than old man Hashaku. The old chief's clan has served as its gatekeeper for generations. It's said that needlessly opening this gate only invites disaster. I have no idea what kind of disaster it might be. I'm gonna force through this. I'm gonna go in and force this gate open. After all, we have no other choice. If Leak is on the other side of this thing. Stand back at me. I got this.
boy, old man of shock who would have had my head if he knew what I just did. Let's just keep this between you and me, Emmy. Just look at that light. Looks way too pretty to be anything that invites misfortune. What are you looking at, first of all? The door's open, ain't it? Do you have the guts to go go on and through? If you turn back now, after all, I've been through. The, I I've been through. I swear I'll. Hmm. Okay. Low again, as soon as. Emma Terrasu, was it? I thought I'd come and join the fun. I've never seen the spirit gate open before. They say opening it only invites disaster. What are you doing here, anyway? Um, and how the heck did you get this far into the Yoshfet? <laughs> ah, you must be talking about this force, power that confused beasts. Indeed, we half-man, half-beast Onia should feel the effects. But it seems the sacred sword Katone has kept me safe. This is no surprise, as the sword itself has driven me here. The wall of ice shall shatter and open the way to the heavens, when Kutone glows silver. As the prophecy foretells, when Kutone starts glowing, it is a sign that the demons shall soon fall. What's more, some say that even the heavens will be within reach. What the heck's that supposed to mean? <laughs> anyway, it hasn't even begun to glow. I must not have slain nearly enough monsters yet. If that's the case, this spirit gate should be just the thing. I'll give those monsters misfortune a taste of Kutone. Oko, Oki, wait. We never have. We have no idea what's on the other side of this thing. All we know is Leek has somewhere, somehow, ended up going through it. I guarantee you're gonna find more than your bar than you bargained for in there. That's what I'm hoping for, for the sake of Kutone. No, wait, Amy. Maybe this isn't such a good idea. so bad. What was that talk about spirit gate misfortune? Hey, this place looks familiar. Yeah, that's it. It looks just like Kamiki Village. Kamiki, you mean the tiny village in Shinshu Field. That's where the whole legend of Orochi began. I've never crossed the sea and set foot on Nippon before. The divine guidance of Kyutone must have led me here. The monsters of this land shall now taste its coat steel. No, Oki, wait! What about Leek? Uh, he's gone. Oh well. Anyway, this, is, this really is Kamiki Village, isn't it? But I'm um, getting a different vibe here. Hmm. That's strange. Why, well, there's already full moon again. Hmm. Well, uh, hey. Isn't this where Sakuya's tree was? Was, what's this dinky little seedling doing here? Well... We'll find out next episode. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. <laughs> and subscribe to Crash Channel Quest. Enjoy it. See you guys next time. Peace.